Is this the year we finally get a new Apple TV? Well, there have been countless rumors surrounding this new set-top box from Apple for years now, and the latest rumor points to a new version that's being worked on that should be coming out at some point in 2021. The latest new rumored feature that we heard just as of a few days ago is that this Apple TV could support 4K 120 hertz output. Evidence of 120 hertz support was actually found in the tvOS 14.5 beta, with the code from the beta listing multiple instances of 120 hertz or supports 120 hertz. The code was found in Pineboard, Apple's name for the Apple TV interface. The references to 120 hertz refresh rate support suggest that Apple is testing this feature for the next generation Apple TV, and it suggests that the new set-top box will use HDMI 2.1. As we've seen with that 120 hertz refresh rate on iPad Pro models, that specific higher rate mode on an Apple TV would allow for smoother performance on 120 hertz television sets and would be ideal for gaming where there are a lot of quick actions or movements. There have also been a lot of talk around a redesigned remote. And recently we saw a few reports about what some thought was the new remote because there were signs of one inside of the iOS 14.5 beta. But it turns out the images and code from that beta are referencing this third party remote from Universal Electronics. Now we've talked about a bunch of third party alternative remotes in the past that are actually great options to pick up, unfortunately. One is really hard to pick up, but the other I'll leave linked below. That one's pretty easy and it's only 20 or $30. And so for those who might want to head in that direction, feel free to check out the link in the description. But as of right now, we don't know a whole lot about what Apple is planning to do with its remote. Bloomberg reported that the updated remote could include a similar feature to Find My iPhone in efforts to help locate a lost remote control inside of your house. And I know users like myself would love something to be done specifically to the touch surface area. Maybe add buttons like some third party remotes alongside a touch surface so that we get the best of both worlds. I'm not entirely sure what direction to go in, but I've had a horrible experience over the past few years with the Siri remote and specifically using the touch interface. I do actually use the Siri functionality quite a bit and I, you know, ask Siri to take me to a specific app or a specific TV show, and I do like that, but navigating the menus and interface using the swipe gestures has just been a nightmare in general. If there is the slightest bit of interference from another device, or maybe the position of the Apple TV, I get a ton of input lag, sometimes it doesn't move at all, it disconnects randomly a lot, and it's just frustrating. And if I switch to one of those other remotes that I've been using from a third party source, everything is totally fine. So something tells me something's up with the box and the remote not communicating well with each other. We can also expect to see a faster processor with reports indicating that this new Apple TV could come with a A14X chip to deliver console-like gaming performance, while leaker John Prosser previously mentioned that the box could be coming with the A12X chip. Turns out Apple actually might be working on two different models of Apple TV with both of those two different chips inside. There have also been a few reports around Apple, including the U1 chip in this next update, which enables ultra wideband support for improved spatial awareness between devices, but nothing super concrete on the U1 chip as of yet. At the end of the day, it has been over three plus years since the Apple TV has seen a new generation release into the wild. And so any updates at this point might be welcome to a lot of people, but I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. What would you like to see done to the next Apple TV? What features are you looking for? Go ahead and let me know in those comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.